If you have a Bible, let's jump into Jeremiah 31. Because on 31, verse 31, he says the days are, the days are coming. When, when Jeremiah talks about the days are coming, it's like a pregnancy. When you're pregnant, although the baby hasn't fully arrived, the baby's already here. Right? The baby's here. How do I know? Because it cost me a lot of money when she got pregnant. Oh, my goodness. Those babies cost you money before they arrived because they're already here, but they're not here. Does that make sense? It's like, see, the government today, they said that it's just tissue. No, it's not tissue. It's a baby. Still inside in development, but it's a baby. So when, when Jeremiah says the days are coming, it's that the days are already here, but they're not here yet. Have you ever been in that place where you know that you're saved, but you don't feel like saved? Have you ever been in a place where you know that you're supposed to trust Jesus, but goodness gracious, how do you trust Jesus when nothing that is going on points out to Jesus? That's exactly what's going on. This is a time of calamity, of, of distress, and here's the point, that this whole here, not here yet, is declared not by the circumstances, but by the Lord. The Lord is in charge of this, which implies, here's the implication, that God's, watch this please, God's worldview is different from our worldview. I don't know if that makes any sense. The, the series is called Perspectives because what God is not going to do, God is not going to declare and affirm what you believe unless you embrace what he believes. In other words, God is not a cosmic butler that simply takes you from wherever you are into the improvement of your condition. He loves to improve your condition, but we call this the regeneration of your soul. This is not just behavior modification.